Hi everybody, welcome back to my tax support channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to decrypt data using OCI Vault service. In the previous video, I have shown and demonstrated how to encrypt data using OCI Vault service. Now in this video, we are going to show how to decrypt the data. So if you wanted to see how to encrypt, you can look at my previous video. I will give the link in the description. You can click on this link and watch that video. So guys, before I start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Now let's get started and see how to decrypt the data using that OCI vault service. So this is the integration which we created to encrypt the data. Now I am going to create uh, another integration which will be used to decrypt. So let's say decrypt data and I'm going to keep this in a package called com.encrypt and click on the create button. Same ways I am going to create a REST API and we'll say decrypt, click next and let's say decrypt. So I'll say post configure a request payload for this endpoint, configure this endpoint to receive the response. Next, let's say JSON sample and I need to give the cipher text here. Cipher text and okay. Next, and I will get the plain text in response. Then text. Okay. Next and then finish. Now I need to call the decrypt API of a vault service. So I'll go back to the same document again and you see decrypt data. This is the API. I'll copy this. Go back to my integration. And let's say vault key connection. Decrypt data and we'll paste this API and it's like a post configure request to payload for this endpoint and receive the response. Next, I'll take the JSON in line and let's see what data it takes. Decrypt data details. So it takes one cipher text and plus key ID. Okay. So what I will do, I'll simply copy this. So it takes key ID as well. So ID, let me just take the correct field name from here. It's like a key ID. And then, okay. Next, and it returns me at least plain data. If you see here, uh, this is request body response decrypt data. It returns this plain text. Copy this. I need plain text. So, okay next and then finish now here i need to take the key id okay so this is my key id i'll copy this go here request wrapper key id paste it here and then cipher text this is my cipher text validate and then close. Now, when it will decrypt, it will give me the data in base 64. So I need to decode that. Okay. So the response, it will return in the decoded base 64 and coded base 64. So I need to decode it. So I'll use decode base 64 function. So we'll put it here and then we'll put that response. Find validate 
and then close. That's it. Let's try to enable a tracking. Type a text, save, save, and then close. Activate this integration. Activate. Now, first of all, let me just encrypt the data body. Let's say Angular Gen test. And now I'll take the same data and will decrypt, try to decrypt. So when I will try to decrypt, it should return with the Angular Gen. So, okay, test body cipher text and then test. Here you see, I'm getting a plain test on the jam. So if you see here, the response, okay, so here I am not logging the payload. That's the reason the payload is not coming. So guys, this is how you can decrypt the data with the help of OCI Vault service. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash www.techsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.